So welcome to the stream guys. Unknown Fury here and we're gonna be playing Evil West for the first time ever. I uh, took a look at the settings before uh, starting the stream. Uh, what we got? Uh, story mode, we got normal mode, we got hard mode, and we got uh, evil mode. They don't recommend playing evil mode uh, for your first playthrough. So that leads me to believe the game gets reset then you can play through a second time with your stuff, with your gear. Then uh, on top of that, there was a permanent death playstyle in there too. I don't think I'm going to tackle that on the hard mode. If there is an achievement for that, I'm going to tackle the game on freaking easy mode and have that permanent death setting on. Then, you know, still get the achievement, I hope. Yeah, I'm actually kind of burnt out today. I'm pretty tired, but I wanted to do a stream, and uh, I wanted something fast-paced to keep me on, you know, keep me going. And Evil West looked like one of those type of games, so yeah, let's get her done. <laughs> Dude, Bad and I are burned out too. Bad came home early. Gosh. Let me start it up. So here we are. New game. I'm going to be using the Xbox controller for this because, you know, these fast paced games, I like using the controller. So, game difficulty we're going to be on is hard. True death. Nope, 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 nope. We're not doing no permanent death. I don't even know how this game plays yet. Then everything else will leave. Let's see how the gamma is. Yeah, right there is fine. New game, start. Here we go. So you guys aren't going to be hopping on Enshrouded today, I'm assuming. Burnt out. <laughs> oh, and let me know how the game runs because, uh, you know, first time running it, I don't know if it's actually more demanding Since than I know of. Of the founding oh, fathers. Quiet now, Fury, quiet. Dark Story time. Have been preying on America. As the fight against these vampires continued, a secret organization has trained people with remarkable skills. The agent's duty is to protect ordinary people from the forces of evil. We're an agent to protect people from the forces of evil. Or else that's just a story, and we're somebody else. Ah oh, man, this could be like action packed. This is because we just finished Ad Infinitum, that horror games, horror simulator game that we went through, and oh my god, there was a lot of kind of boring moments. I'm looking forward to some high speed action now. So, horror game, high speed action. A lot of no reading on that game. Yeah, it was. Chester will be none too chatty with his guts sprayed all over a train carriage. I know how to shape an explosion, Edgar. Suck my dick. He's a secretary of war, not the secretary of bridges. <laughs> Alright, that's the type of game this is Let's gonna go be. Alright. Look see. I go high. Harrow can suck my dick. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's get started. Oh, oh, oh! Wait. Oh! Hold on. I'm hoping that's just loading crap. 
I mean, we, we look smooth now, so I think it was just loading up the area. Shh, scared me for a second. I was like, ah, dang it, we can't play this game. So, what do I do with this? Nah, it's not that bad. I don't get it. Did I miss something? I guess not. Oh. Graphics, dude. Dude. Hey, what's up, Bergen? Welcome, welcome. Well, I mean, being a Western, bound to be some vultures around here somewhere, right? Look, I got a little whip on my side right there. I'm like Indiana Jones. But, you know, questionable already. What's with my arm? It's fancy. Let's give it a try. Bridge looks pretty good for being blown up. Some places allowed to perform special actions walk up towards... Uh, yeah, I guess that symbols for my little lasso, my wit. And press A once to change it into... Okay. More money. Oh, look, I found money. I was just going back to check out what's up with that little thing up there. Oh, he's saying I smell bad. Oh, we got a zombie. Alright. Tap RB the punch away. Alright, RB's melee attack. Alright, I might have to turn down the graphics a teeny bit. There's a little bit lag with some actions. New lore. Press that to view. Oh. Its name is Infected Vessel. Skipping just a hair. Yeah. Evasion. Evade enemy attacks to get out of reach. Fast tap A to dodge or double tap A to roll away. Alright, alright. <laughs> Oh, I gotta remember, I am playing on hard mode, so. <laughs> we gotta keep that in mind. Yeah, see? They're making me think there's hidden stuff around, along this tutorial thing. 181 bucks. Quite a find, he said. So these little chain thingies just mean I can hop over it. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? Born 1857, 1864. Fragment of inventory. Arranged in order of vintage like fine wines. These are death tags, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forty-one dollars. Hero punch. Press RB while dodging forward to close the gap to an enemy and attack immediately. Okay, okay, I got you. Okay, that worked, but. <laughs> Stop letting them hit you! Come. Yeah! Bunch of hero punching. 
A medication dispenser built within the gauntlet can be used to heal with a short recharging downtime. After each use, press B to heal. Alright. That felt good. I saw there was a multiplayer thing, but I don't know what the multiplayer is for. I tried checking it out, but multiplayer said uh, I would have to complete the tutorial first. Which I haven't done yet. Which is what I'm going through right now, I think. Uppercut and punches. Most enemies can be uppercut with a powerful gauntlet. Punch. Hold B for an uppercut. Keep hitting the enemy with B to keep it airborne. Alright, so... Uppercut. So there's air juggle combo type stuff in this game. That's cool. That's cool. Now, lasso right. Across the river somehow. This would be a bad time for this thing to collapse. What's that? Some more gold? I'll take that. 47 bucks. <laughs> Cannonball. Uh, hold L, B to upcut an enemy and then follow up with a cannonball punch. Cannonballed enemies can be killed by environmental hazards. Ah, so, well, I mean, it's a launch attack. So, okay. Yeah. Alright, let's try to get you two. Yep, got you. How about you? We'll, we'll launch you that way. There you go. We'll, we'll lock, knock you off the cliff. How about that? <laughs> Alright. So, did that happen? Yeehaw! Is this a campaign adventure game? Yeah, I think it is. Interrupting enemy attacks. Enemy special attacks are deadly and unstoppable. By regular means, press to interrupt them with kickoff. All right. So what's the what's the thing I'm supposed to look for? Oh, if they turn red. All right. Aha! Alright, coupe de grace. Get close to near death enemy and execute them in a spectacular fashion, uh, fashion approaching the glowing yellow. And press RB for the final blow. Finishers are rewarded with health pickups. You are invulnerable while performing the finisher. Alright, that's good. And he's gone. That was easy. Guys with guns now. Guys with guns. Alright, we got to take down the little ones first. Looks like you could use a hand. Oh, you're a good guy. Never mind. You and me, man. Oh, 
Okay, I don't know why they want me to do the interrupt kick. Dodging was so much easier. Whoop. Hold on, let's take out this guy. I want this big guy behind me though. No money? No money. Hello, sir. Oh, I get a revolver now. Handy, fast, and reliable. The signature hammer mechanism uh, mechanism allows for rapid fanning shots, provided one's hands are skilled enough. This weapon doesn't require aiming and can reload automatically once the cylinder is emptied. Right trigger, fanning and tap. Right trigger for single shots. Hold for fanning. Okay. All right, let's do that. That's what I call a game. Welcome to America, dipshit. Nah, that wasn't too bad. I can only take one more hit. Whoops, wrong button. Big fella. Almost died there. I bet one good punch could get me through. Smash. Bye bye, big boy. Yeah. <laughs> one second, guys. Alright, let's continue. Oh, it's just uh, to make a path for me, I guess. To uppercut an enemy, then hold the right trigger to keep them airborne. 
Did I hear a voice? I could have sworn I heard somebody say, what's happening? Oh, finish her. Yeah. What is this though? Oh, I guess that's just health, but I'm full health right now. Smell you, Chess, you lousy skunk. That's making me think my computer's actually working pretty hard to run this game. all of them, right? Oh, man. Boss time. Oh, no! Whatever attack he did made me lag. dead yet, is he? No, he's not. Finish her! That I couldn't even see because he was too big. Alright, Chester! Now I'm pissed! <laughs> then let's get that son of a bitch! Uh, yeah, let's go. Your father's leash, I see. Vampire. Ugh. Heard you were on your way to the gathering, Chess. What's this? Catering? Why, I have no idea what you. That big shiny ball out there is no good for your sensitive skin. The sun's not to know what they'll do to me. Fun game. Let's test that theory. No, no, no Richard, uh, stop! Belmontville! The, the gathering's in Belmontville! Excellent choice, Chester. And since you're feeling so damn helpful, we're gonna be needing a guide. Consider it a promotion. Give a shit. 
Belmont Bill's a long way from the manor. <laughs> oh, burn. We're on a clock. <laughs> We've been hunting Bonnie for three months. What's another few hours? <sighs> have it your way. But your father's gonna have your ass as an ashtray if we don't make that presentation. You're retired. What's he gonna do? Fire you? <laughs> yeah. Burn it. Pretty fun so far. I mean, it is, you know, action packed like I hope for. Belmontville Mines, huh? Oh, we're gonna be walking blind into a damn maze. And if our tick friend here is telling the truth, the Bono's gonna be right in the middle of it. I don't think I'm in a position to lie, do you? <laughs> That's the spirit, Chester. Now you lift those fancy illusions, and who knows? Maybe you'll make it out of this after all. The glamour! I... <laughs> Even I have my limitations, Mr. Gravener. You want a limitation? How about walking around without a head? <laughs> think you're going judging by that tone of yours sounds like I'm making sure fancy pants here doesn't make a run for it in broad daylight that's why we need familiars I'm starting to question your qualifications for this job those ass licking <laughs> tick blobbers should be shot on sight ah what the hell maybe we can play with dynamite out here too right Jess I'll make you a new waistcoat I don't believe my tailor would like that See? You're bonding already. Ah, eat me. Looks like he's using a rifle. Hopefully we get to use one. Yeah. Rentier rifle. Excuse me. Alright. Uh, aimed weapon, perfect for long range precision shots, including hitting enemies, weak spots, capable of rapid target switching. Uh, rapid target switching, all right. Left trigger to aim, and right trigger to shoot. So, I take it if I just hold right trigger, use my pistol. Hold left trigger, use the rifle. All right, good to know. That gathering won't find itself, you know? Yeah, no yeah. All right, let me try something. I, I don't like the little frame skipping crap that's been happening, so let's drop the graphics down one level. Video, there you are. So we're on epic graphics right now. <laughs> we'll, we'll set it to high and see what happens. Hopefully it's a little smoother. Money. You know the can is right there in front of you. Oh, shut up. I told you my sight's not recovered after the change. Hey, so you're telling me it's not the booze? They're uh, bandits, apparently. Do 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 Ah, oh, come on, Fury. Shoot that head. There it is. Weak spots. Use Rentier's rifle to shoot glowing weak spots and deal severe damage. Oh, those glowing spots. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, let's find another one to do that too. There's nobody else. Oh, it's okay. Dude, I got like a freaking 
compass telling me where to go or something like that? They just assumed I knew where to go. Okay, I got it. All the money. All the money. 30 bucks. Explosive? Secret, maybe. Some extra money. That's it. Yep, that's it. It looks like yeah, it looked like an arena. So I was like, there's quite a lot of people here. And how can he see? Good. Yeah, man. Yep, too easy. <laughs> Appreciate the clip. Thank you, Jay. As always. Hey! Son of a... Oh, God. They're just doing that everywhere. Come on. Do it again. There you go. Oh! I guess there were more snipers around. Uh, so I guess we're just waiting for those opportunities. Yeah, we're just waiting for those opportunities. I made the mistake of <laughs> breaking shooting the guy anyways. Yep, TNT. Okay. They weren't like all in the good position for the TNT, that's why I didn't really didn't bother with it. <laughs> if I shot the TNT it would have blown up one guy. So I'm like, well, might as well just shoot the guy. Who knows what comes next? Smells of ticks. Gathering must be close by. Uh. Run! See anything over here? Nothing. Let's go check inside there. Wait, was I here before? Yeah, I was here before. All right, so let's just continue then. It looks like it is going a little smoother, but we'll find out when we get more higher end graphic stuff happening. Fucking maze. Like that. <laughs> Arachnophobia one. That's funny. Look, there could be gold in them rocks there. I think.
looks about right. Does it though? Does it? <laughs> eh? You get stuck on something. I'll bet my last dime to Bono's here somewhere. De Bono. All right. Dead end. Great. Hmm? You seeing this too? Take it off. Mr. Rentier, on a first date? What do you take me for? You're right. Maybe a little light to set the mood. No, no need. I see it now. Of course. The glamour. I'm on it. Hmm. Today, Chester. Please. I need to concentrate. It's not that easy to sever the illusion from its source. What's the source? You don't want to know. Switch. I'll take the explosives. You get to Bono. That's pretty Is cool. Is this about the bridge? It's not. Not about the bridge. Got the damn train, didn't I? Dang. It's not hard to fight him, it's just all those extras around is annoying. I've seen my share of tech architecture, but that, that's something. It's hard to compete against the species that keeps on growing and advancing with their technology. Creating new and more dangerous weapons of war and other engineering marvels. As I see it, the real struggle is nature versus technology. Instinct versus genius. We have allowed those naturally subordinate to us to transform themselves from prey into predators. If we don't alter this trajectory, eventually they will murder us all. Here. Hundred fifty nine dollars. Can I just snipe everybody from here? Uh, 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 uh. 
Oh, there's a. It's telling me no. They got like a freaking shield. Oh well. Freedom! Okay, 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 okay. We're, we're getting swarmed. <laughs> it circled them up. Level two? You can level up. New perk. Okay, what we got? What we got? New perks are unlocked with each level up. You can activate a perk by allocating perk points. Later on, you will also be able to reset your perk points and spend them again, free of charge. Activate a perk now. All right, let's see what perk. Dealing damage with the gauntlet reduces the cooldown of the healing dispenser. Be able to heal more, that's not a bad idea. Cannonball. Blasting impression. <laughs> Blasting, that's funny. Uh, kick off and hero punch deal additional splash damage to all nearby enemies. Oh, that sounds awesome. Let's see, hold LB plus RB to jump forward and smash the ground with a damaging blast. Nearby enemies take higher damage and are knocked down. Use your movement to adjust the direction of the attack. Ooh. Is that like a special or what? Oh, I can't get it till level 3. Dang. The only ones I can get are this one and the one below. Chain of Command. Chaining the next melee combo attack right when the previous one connects. Deals 30% increased damage and makes the next punch faster. Ah, this is like Batman. Batman has like the, well, the Arkham Asylum games. They have the combo attacks where if you keep pressing the button on time with each attack, you know, you just deal more damage as you go. So... That's good. So it's either I want to have more health or I want to deal more damage. I'm going to go with damage. <laughs> oh, it won't let me pick. I have to get the health one. That's unfortunate. All right. Well, dealing damage with the gauntlet reduces the cooldown of the healing dispenser. All right. Ah, great. Okay, yeah, I forgot how to do the freaking Superman punch for a second. Forgot I have to dodge first. side path over here looks like another little chest with some money in it so I'm assuming the money is gonna be used later for like weapon upgrades and stuff like that that's how these adventure games are flying enemies They got those target things.
Eh, not bad, not bad. At least they're projectiles, I can actually dodge it. Game, huh, Shay? Not enough. Not enough. Turn it some more, fool. <laughs> what do I gotta do? Lift it? Crawl underneath it? Come on, man. I know you're a big fella, but still. That hook right there, we can use the lasso. Uh, why is it not letting me? Oh, it wants me to go around this way. brothers and sisters we are not bred we are not born we come to life when we accept the gift of change our powers are many and they have served us well the art of glamour has given us glamour secrecy but i am afraid we are becoming the victims of progress sooner or later Human technology will find a way to see past our illusions. They will expose and demonize Death not. us. What's up, dude? How you doing, make man? Make us their ultimate enemy. Inevitably, we will become their inferiors. You already are inferiors. Jesus, it's <laughs> huge. When did they build this? And how? An upside down pyramid. <laughs> All right. Just chilling. All right, all right. So, well, we're playing a new game today, Death Not Evil West. Had it in my library, but I was waiting until I finished Ad Infinitum before I start a new game. Form 15 finishers. Achievement unlocked. Sup? 
Yeah. Okay. Got a few more to go. their little party. We consider ourselves proud hunters, predators, but that pride sometimes prevents us from growing as a species. Internal divisions have weakened us. Our numbers dwindle while their numbers grow, but it's not too late. We can still survive, but to do so, we must be ready to adapt. We cannot be too proud to evolve. They're having a little meeting over there. I was wondering who was talking. Listen to the voice. Enough. Your lines first for all out war with the humans endangers us all. Peace of Havana. Without the sheep. The wolves go hungry, yes. But the day is coming when the sheep will outwit the wolves. Haven't you been watching, brother? The humans have harnessed the power of steam and lightning, and they grow mighty. If our hubris allows us to grow fat and lazy in the shadows, they will soon have the power to hunt us down like dogs. And so you propose war. War suggests there is a chance we might lose. I propose we strike with my new asset. We can control the change. Reclaim the Sanguisuja's rightful place at the top of the food chain. Control the change. Are you mad? Even suggesting such a thing is blasphemy. Dominic, brother, these are blasphemous times. While my methods may very well be at variance with our tradition, I can tell you one thing. If we don't adapt, we will perish. Enough. I will not allow you and your bastard breed to, to lead us into annihilation. Peter Davan, for the high crime of conspiracy against your own kind. I sentence you and your line to the true death. Damn. I told you, Father. They wouldn't listen. We had to try, Felicity Mikara. Our work will be a lot easier if we can help them understand. If we can't... Then... We... Force them to! <laughs> well, zombie, monster, vampire, hunter thing. Whatever, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. 
All right. in the air when he jumps like that. Nope, I tried. Ah, not too bad for a boss fight. <laughs> Think you could have brought a bigger knife? Some people get a gold watch when they retire. That's not a knife. I got Susan <laughs> here. <laughs> so, where's the little girl at? Should have asked him how to get out of here. Too late. He won't be of any use for a month or two. Wait. What about Chester? Well, what are you gonna do? Now that is how you shape an explosion. Damn, we're late. Now at least we won't be going back to the manor empty-handed. Taxpayers move. James Harrow. The people's hero. <laughs> I heard the White House sends him golden toilet paper. 
long as he keeps the presidential ass clear of tick trouble. Feed him well. We've got a lot of ground to cover tonight. You're not staying for the presentation? The whole institute is in town. Uh, I'll pass on the corporate back padding session. I don't need another retirement lecture. Here, take this to your father before it wakes up and starts cursing us all to high hell. Great, so I'll just tell him you've traded killing vampires for swilling cheap bourbon? Tell him whatever you want. Fine, skip the presentation. But you ain't getting away from a final drink with me afterwards. Good morning, sir. Cash. Money laying around. Jesse Rentier. You're a chip off Mr. Rentier? Eddie's boys. Rentier. My father in his office. That's he his is. name. Rentier. Sir. Uh, let's look around real quick. Hello, sir. Director Rentier spared no expense to approve those gauntlets. <laughs> Officially, they called it a cholera epidemic, but. The truth was, they were dealing with a terrible outbreak of amateur necromancy. The entire institute was engaged in the hunt. <laughs> Remember that movie? Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. <laughs> the train fare here cost me an arm and a leg. For all its worth. Veil of secrets. Long time no see, Mr. Rentier. It was not a good one. I never watched it. I didn't think it would be. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. It was good one? Okay. Maybe I should watch it. Abraham Lincoln, the Vampire Hunter. Allow me to convey on behalf of the President of the United States, Benjamin Harrison, my warmest congratulations on Rentier's Institute 75th anniversary opening 50th branch of the Institute, which coincides with the celebration as a true mark of importance that this fine institution has in our great country. I am more than confident that Director Rentier's vision leadership will continue to protect our citizens from any supernatural forces we can encounter. Yours truly, Secretary of War, Stephen Benton Elkins. P.S. We are going to attend the reception together with D.C.'s Rentier Institute Outpost Director, Mr. Edward Jones. I hope you don't mind letting him leave his post for a well-deserved celebration. Hey. Mr. Rentier, you remember me? From my first year of cadet training. I'm the shortest one of the bunch. But the very next year, I grew like a weed. I had to buy all new pants. <laughs> Alright, and let's check upstairs. The entire institute's here, so I can't possibly go wrong. We're getting shh, it's supposed to be a surprise. Something's up. I can smell it. Alright, I guess we explored this whole area. Uh, we can go up here. Edgar and my father in the Civil War. Right before the bloody Battle of the Wilderness, Central Virginia. His life changed forever during that fight. Highborn nearly killed him. Badly tore up his leg. Edgar carried him in the dead of night across enemy lines to a field hospital, but the surgeon could only do so much. After that, Dad could no longer function in the field. Heavy as hell. First prototype of the gauntlet. The gauntlet. Where the hell you been? I thought you got bitten by some tick. Some of those fangy fellas were hiding out in Providence. That's why the president ordered the western border secured. So when they say tick, I guess they're referring to vampires. Daddy? Grave nurse with you. He sends his regards. He's afraid you'll try and talk him out of retirement again. Oh, dude, I, I just watched that movie on Netflix bad. like twice you know, recently. <laughs> get this for you. That's Harrow's I was kind of upset he got sure rid of the bracelet. Be rewarded accordingly. Edgar isn't some civilian looking for a medal. This is all he knows. Your institute saw to that. 
My institute? <sighs> this isn't about Agent Gravener, Jesse. We are on the cusp of great progress. Great change. Today's presentation is of critical importance to the family. After mm. which... Edgar is family. After which... I expect you to step up to your duties here at the manor. With all due respect, Director, I am a field agent, not a paper pusher. You're a rentier. Rentier? <sighs> Why must you always not rentier? Rentier. These things to you, Jesse. There are bigger things at work here than running around in caves slaying beasts. I do believe someday soon you will see it my way. And if you don't, it's my responsibility to force that change. Now, leave me be. I must prepare for the presentation. And send someone in here to clean up this mess. The head on this table. <laughs> That's a first. Miss Rendier, Agent Feathers is waiting for you in the lobby. All right, all right. In the lobby. What's up, fool? All right, talk to you here. You're just in time. The presentation should be starting soon. What do you got for me this time? Use bucks to buy weapon upgrades. Yep, see? Weapon upgrades with money. Uh, navigate between weapon categories. Buy and upgrade to continue. Alright, let me see. Mid-air shot. An enemy can be shot right after becoming airborne with a single revolver bullet for increased damage. Effect can be repeated with the right timing as long as the enemy stays in midair does not work with the fanning action okay healing is now followed up with a short five second invulnerability that's cool i need about seven thousand plus to get both so i can only get one this is a rifle upgrade here aimed weapon for a perfect long range precision shots so I'm capable of a rapid fire, rapid target switching. Hold L to aim. Press right trigger to shoot. What? Oh, whoops! Uh, I was reading <laughs> the first one. My bad. Free bullet. Hitting a weak spot now restores a bullet spent on it. Oh, that's cool. Because one of the things I was trying to watch out for was the uh, ammunition when I was fighting that boss. I wanted to make sure I had enough to bring him down when he was preparing his whatever special attack he was about to do. Uh, 2,000, 3,000. So if we get the pistol upgrade and the rifle, we should be good. Uh, the healing, I'll just be careful heal in the safe spot so let's get that rifle upgrade and if we can the pistol upgrade there you go now attend the presentation where is that at Stairs, maybe. Wait, wait. It's showing right there. No, oh, there it is. I like that there's a lot of cinematics. Gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, if you'll take your seats. And, uh,. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, I'm Assistant Secretary of War, James Harrow. President Cleveland wants you to know how appreciative we are of the vital service the Urentia Institute performs, defending our great country from monsters of all shapes and sizes. He also wanted me to make sure you're not blowing all our money on Mexican Monty, but that's another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, quite. Well, uh, <clears throat> as I say, keep up the good work. God bless you all, and uh, God bless America. It sounds like you I cared so much. Here tonight, 
It's rare we gather in such numbers, but I believe great progress calls for momentous celebration. Our efforts in the fight against the Sanguisuja's spread have too often been baffled by the creature's most insidious weapon, their so-called glamours. These impenetrable illusions have allowed countless fiends to slip through our grasp for too long. That ends now. Agent Rentier, we've upgraded the standard field agent's gauntlet with something our science bods have affectionately named the Zapper. Not exactly an elegant name, but it does the trick. When triggered, the Zapper sends out an electrical impulse that shatters any nearby Sanguizoon glamours forthwith, eliminating what is not and leaving only what is. Once finished, these new gauntlets will be distributed to cells nationwide post haste allowing us to sweep our respective territories for glamoured nooks and crannies. This is the beginning of a oh. new age, oh, crap. Armed with this gauntlet, there is Run. no way Say our something enemy fool. surprise. Oh, here we go. Fighting time. Zapper, uh, innovative device created with the R.I. Eh, to disrupt the vampiric illusions worn on the left hand and utilize as a support tool in combat. Thanks to its capabilities to discharge and create an electrical arc on demand. Press LB for a block. Oh, so it's a blocking weapon. Uh, enemies press LB block button then the enemy is attacking you to electrocute them and make open towards the RBE combo ah. oh it's like a parry all right all right try hitting me oh yeah I have to time those Huh, that's cool. Alright, let's go. Jesus Christ. I'll beg him to help one piece. New perk. Uh, I guess is because I unlocked the other gauntlet. Yeah, the zapper thing here. Zapper pool. Uh, LB and back to pull the enemy. Suicide bomber types, I'm assuming. Oh no, grenaders. Grenadiers. Oh, those things are homing?
Freaking grenaders, flyers, and melee combatants on the floor, man. That was a lot. That's where we came from. And we're going down this way, I guess. Where's my father? Still kicking ass, last time I saw him. Old fool thinks he's still in the field. Listen, he wants us to destroy the archives before these assholes get their hands on it. You get to it and I'll find Harrow's pampered ass. Meet me out front. Never thought I'd have to blow up my own house. Zapper dash. The zapper's electrical part can be used to dash towards enemy. Hold LB and forward snap to an enemy's position and electrocute it. Wow, that's even better. That's it. Wow, a bunch of vampire heads. Shut your ugly traps. Joseph Warren and great grandfather Dick. Find the tech headquarters. He let the Brits take him captive. Would love to have seen the surprise on their faces when he incinerated those tick nests and saved their royal asses. I can smell the gas.
Okay. Ah, man. They definitely threw a lot of enemies at you all at once. But I mean, it's not like you're not overpowered. <laughs> Find my father. Oh, big open arena again. Unlocked a bunch of perks. So, what can we get? Jump forward and smash the ground. Well, it seems like they're telling me I can only pick one again. <laughs> so let's grab that. Oh, it's a special meter at the bottom there. So, hold da 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 for an area effect attack, which consumes energy. Gather energy by dealing melee attacks and performing the finishers. Alright. Idea what that was. I don't even think they explained it. I can still take damage while I'm doing that? Dang. My ears are crackling right now. Oh, jeez. Yeah, relax. Yeesh. Get better, Shay. Get better. Uh, I'm gonna have to watch the stream. You know? It might be straining on you.
Yeah, it's those freaking guys that are launching those explosives at me that I need to get. Ah, uh, yeah. There were some more little explosives behind me that got me. Ah, oh, man. Alright, now it's getting harder. doesn't seem to be a way around those guys, so I have to get them on time before they start launching that crap. We got through that. <laughs> we came from there. Which way are they asking us to go? I feel like we're supposed to go inside the building, but it's blocked for me. And I can't go that way. I have to go through here. Outer. Yeah, sure I do. <laughs> Don't be cross with me, Father. I couldn't leave you at the mercy of these savages. Did you not do that, you fleshy toad? You nearly hit him. Wow. Difficult. 
not surprised it was her. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Evil little girl. Only a handful of agents survived the slaughter at Rainier Institute. William Jesse Edgar, an assistant secretary of war. James Harrow barely escaped. Jess, we won't make it to Galico like this. <laughs> I order you. <laughs> uh, I almost had her. If it weren't for that old wound. <clears throat> oh, Jesus Christ. Don't get old, son. Yeah, yeah. Never get married. Now stop blabbing. You're going to be fine. I know what I'm doing. This is the key, Jesse. Don't let it out of your sight. It's all we've got. It's in your hands now. Stop! We need to get the fuck out of here! We need to find a defensive position to hold us over till morning. Then we head to Calico. My wife could blow this defensive position over with a wet fart. We need the higher <laughs> ground. And that's where the sun will hit first. I'll get the horses, and we'll stand our ground up there. Ooh, shotgun. A heavy-hitting sawed-off shotgun, ideal for close combat and capable of dealing damage to multiple enemies. Use it with X, but not on cooldown. Oh man, it goes on cooldown. Rent your boomstick. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying too. Oh shit! God dang! Come on, hurry up. I know you guys like to hide secrets here. Let me look around. Explosives. Yeah, there you go. Chest. Let's finish looking around.
the fat boy? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Bam. Shielded enemy to damage and eventually break the enemy shield, hit it with RB or gun punches for her. the boomstick, which is significantly more effective. Alternatively, the enemy's back is vulnerable to ranged attacks. Okay, start with the boomstick. Generates that crap. Whoops. I got out of there in time. Did not. That took a lot of beating up, but we got him. <laughs> All right, before I go up there, let's look around, see if they got any secrets. You know, hidden chests, extra gold, all that good stuff. Nothing. 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 know about that area. Let me check this area one more time just in case. Oh, that's what it was. The guy who's hanging. Got it. 77 bucks. It's something. 
<laughs> All right, let's go up here. What is this? Oh, it charges up my energy bars down there. That's what it does. Everybody move! Up, up, up. Cover me, Rizzie! Got you! Cover me, cover me, cover me. Those guys have shields. How am I supposed to cover you? Try to get rid of that freaking menu up there. All right, press that to see my whatever it was telling me about. Oh, holding it. Okay. There you go. Now will that tip get off my screen now? Still there. Damn it. <laughs> oh, cover him here. Just kept coming, I guess. Running real low, Jess. Kind of busy here, Edgar. How about that? Oh, I got Wolverine claws now. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> what the hell is that? Out of lightning? Good thing we still got a big shiny ace up our sleeve. think he's breathing calico it's around the corner there's a doctor there visit calico for the first time Protocol Epsilon. Sit down and roll up your sleeve. 
Gonna need some blood. We will save your father, Mr. Rentier. Cell's engineer. Virgil. Virgil only. It's an honor to finally meet you in the flesh. Uh, sir, your gauntlet is a thing of beauty. Only a genius could... I need that fixed. Yesterday. I'll need a bigger lab if I'm gonna solve the mysteries of time travel, sir. What? I mean... How are we doing? Arrow needs a scapegoat. He won't leave without someone to blame for that fiasco. Pissed off little Highborn looking for her maker's head? No one could have predicted that. I don't think she did all that for just Abano. We're missing something. I bet my last buck we'll heal more from this Felicity tick pretty soon. I'm gonna check if Amelia needs some backup with Harrow. Who do I have to bend over this bar and indiscreetly <laughs> fuck to get some coffee around right here? <laughs> what a day. See you in the briefing room. Go to Virgil's workshop. All right. Oh, you everything, Doctor. Need to check on my gauntlet first. There must be a workshop somewhere around. Mr. Renty. Mr. Harrow wants to see you as soon as you're done in the workshop. I always gotta check the off paths, man. For some lore and possibly some gold. Like that. <laughs> It's all glowy. Oh, that's like the gauntlet right there. Right. Nothing up here, I guess. I guess that's everything. Let's go to the quest objective. Mr. Harrow was waiting for you in the briefing room, sir. Yeah, yeah, I heard that already. Upgrades and perks reset. Would you like to reset all weapon upgrades and perks? No. Oh. I guess that's where I reset it then. Uh, vigil. Oh, Virgo on wait, Olney, engineer born 1873, graduated RI science training 1888, official member of RI science 1888. Virgil Olney was discovered as an infant in the lair of a Chinese necromancer, having barely survived some sort of arcane ritual brought back to Calico to research what was done to him. His recovery took some time, but the young man proved sharp as a tack. He had a real talent for science and technology and eventually graduated first in his class. Okay. Who does he think he is? The when I got your goddamn gilded invitation, I expected champagne and canapes. Instead, some fang fuck broke into your headquarters and slapped you all around like a gaggle of whimpering sissies. Now the entire country is left unprotected. Yeah, we should have left them behind. I stand here with my dick in my hand like an idiot. So again, 
Could someone please tell me how the fuck did this happen? Security services were redirected to protect our most valuable asset. And how the fuck wasn't that me? That was my father's call, and it was Agent Gravener's quick thinking that saved your life, sir. For all the fucking good it'll do once I tell the Capitol that its primary defense against all kinds of monsters just collapsed. We'll take care of it, sir. What, from here? This place is a shithole at the edge of fucking nowhere. And don't be fooled by our humble trappings, Secretary Harrow. Calico Cell has the highest survival rate in the Institute, as well as its very best engineer. We are your only chance of turning this around. Then I expect a report on those tick assholes on my desk first thing, Doctor. And who the fuck are you? I, uh, uh, <laughs> um... Yeah, this guy. Wait a minute. I'm the best engineer? You better be, because we need this thing operational as soon as possible, before Harrow comes back to string us all up. Harrow can suck my... How bad is it? <laughs> well, the glamour disruptor's fried. Then we have the insulation around the power coupling. Can you fix it or not? It's doable, but I'll need time. A few weeks, a month tops. We ain't got that long. We have to be ready to take down this Felicity character when we find her. You mean if we find them? We have no idea where to even look. Not necessarily. The Devil's Pass. Uh, Jesse Edgar and William flee to Rentier Institute's last surviving outpost is located in the tiny town of Calico as Dr. Mila Blackwell tends to William's to the wounds north, and I could not finish reading it. The main trail. <laughs> <laughs> and the unimaginative locals call it the Devil's Pass. Now reports mention possibly unknown vampiric specimens. We chalked it down to hearsay, but now we sent our top sanguisuge expert to investigate. I hope by expert you mean a field agent and not another bookworm. Scott Bloom co-wrote the Institute's sanguisuge best We need soldiers, not pencil pushers. I can't run around looking for a missing egghead hoping that maybe he brings something to the table. When did he last report? Five days ago. Now let's just hope he's lost in research. Fine, Agent Scott. Alright, so it's almost 7 o'clock for me. I'm not going to be able to continue more, guys. I'm going to cut the stream here. It seems like a good spot anyways. But, I appreciate y'all hanging out. The game is turning out to be pretty fun. Pretty good. You know, it's been a while since I played a game like this. You know, adventure, action-packed, combo-oriented type fighting, you know. So, we'll pick this up probably tomorrow. But, cliffhanger, eh? Yeah, cliffhanger. Maybe we'll find a researcher, or maybe not. You know, this pencil pusher is important. <laughs> but one second. Let me pause this. But, yeah. Um... Guys, thank you for watching. Anyone on YouTube watching this video at a later time, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, or leave me a comment. Tell me, I don't know, what you think about the game and whatnot. But until next time, take care, stay safe, I'll see you later.